Um, Sam, what might be a really good place to start is if we can just kind of review a week and, mm -hmm. and see what's been going on, any issues that are, have arisen over the last uh, five days or so. Yeah, okay, so I found this week really quite tough actually, I mean, especially with my year nines. Mm -hmm. um, they came into the lesson on Wednesday, first thing. I had a BT like blast training session and it ran till five to nine and it kind of got all stressed out and then they kind of carried it into the lesson with my year nines. Mm -hmm. So they were not ready to kind of, they didn't enter the room in the manner that I wanted them to, but I didn't correct it early enough. So it followed through the whole lesson. Can you just outline just a couple of goals or a couple of things that you just really want to make sure by the end of today I want to have, I want to do this, this and this? some strategies in place to make sure they get it right before they come in the classroom because previously I've tried different tactics and when they do get it right outside the classroom they do bring it into the classroom and we, the lesson runs a lot more smoothly. Letting them in and reminding them, speaking to them in the door to remind them as they're going behind the chairs and sort of stand there and wait. Uh, that didn't work either, so I went back. What went with that one? Uh, it, was just, it was like a herd of elephants swung into it. So you've got various different issues going on there. Mm -hmm. Heads on tables, yeah. swinging on chairs, not picking up the pen. Yeah. Um, can you, is there anything that you can think about what might be causing that at the root? Um, I don't, my lessons perhaps aren't as engaging as they need to be. I'm, okay. I'm also not following the four point plan rigorously enough through discussion, me leading the discussion perhaps, or getting some of them to model a story at the front and everyone else watch it and like rate them or... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not too sure. Too sure? So you could lead the discussion? Yeah, yeah well, it, I think it would have to be led by me, otherwise as soon as I give them any free reins, like I tried a carousel activity where they went around to different stations and it just didn't really... So if they're moving, the, the stations could move to them perhaps? Mm -hmm. One yeah. option. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something I always find an easy way of doing it is doing some pair work. Um, yeah. It's a bit more sort of structured and contained. You could have, you could give them each a character. Okay. Um, and they could work on their, their story and then they could share their story with their yeah. character. Well, yeah, it would create their own story perhaps. So I could even give them the effects mm. like I have been giving them, but instead, so instead of picking out the story, they could make their, they've got the effects, but they can make their own story out of the effects. So that might be. Great yeah. idea. And it also, it doesn't, they can sort of do that on their own and they can do it in the partner. So, yeah. yeah. So on a scale of one to ten, how committed do you feel for Wednesday to crack that class? Definitely, yeah. Ten. Actually, I'm going to use that now with my year 10s. Yeah. I think that's a great idea, making the right story. I've never really thought about doing it that way. 